Have you heard of winter blues, or have you experienced it yourself? It's more common than you think in our society. Snowboarding and off-roading are the two things that help me cope with it. So on this trip, I'm heading to a less known snow resort for the first time in a four-wheel drive. Also, my first time ever using a chainsaw. First time sleeping inside a fully enclosed runner rack awning. You'll be surprised how much warmer it is in there. So, what do you say? Bring your snow gear, hop in. Let's go. Oh, after closing my swing out arm, of course. Another trip. This is actually a um, trip out of town for mainly snowboarding purposes. I know there's a lot of local um, ski mountains getting a ton of people where sometimes just a lift, lift takes over an hour and people start to hike up to snowboard down. It's really nuts now with uh, this restriction thing. Uh, first off, maybe people find that this is one of the only options to get out there and plus they're limiting each chairlift with only um, people that you came in the same vehicle with so that eh, okay puddles <laughs> definitely extended that definitely extended the lineup weight whistler is oh god the puddles you hear me Whizzler is kind of one of man. Whizzler is one of the popular ones around the city, but I've heard lately there's been a COVID outbreak there. Plus, it's really it's getting a little overcrowded. Why not explore some other less traveled mountains? And there's barely any weight around the chairlift, so many of them are actually not that far which allow me more time to explore a little bit around the area. So we'll see what we find today. I started snowboarding a couple years ago as a coping for severe winter blues. The next winter, I got myself a Rubicon. With a combination of off-roading and snowboarding, I was able to ease off some stress and pressure from city life. I'm sure I'm not alone here. There's something about Vancouver winter that's unfortunately depressing. Maybe it's the stressful holidays, the shortening of daylight, the lack of sunshine and vitamin D, the rain. When it's not enough to simply dive myself into books and go to gym, when my daily journal starts to be filled with negative thoughts, when my physical health is taking a toll, when interacting with people feels more dreading than normal, I know I need to do something about it. Since I don't drive a jeep anymore, these little water channels seem bigger than before. My rear clearance is compromised by that hitch receiver. Just gotta take it slow for now. I still need to deal with that, taking the hitch off until getting a trailer. See? I'm procrastinating again. So we got a little fallen tree. It has been cut, but I'm not exactly sure if my Lancusa can fit through that that gap. Um, should I chop it a little more or try it? Why don't we play it safe and just chop it a little more so I don't get any accidental scratches and also try out this new chainsaw should have gotten a chainsaw a long time ago but also I've seen a lot of people using those orange boxes they're actually a little bit expensive so the good old husky box cut through a sluts you can make yourself an own chainsaw box and it's enough room for you to put all of your batteries oils and everything else you know first time operating a chainsaw of any kind a little excited a little nervous 
and our gas powered are usually the ones to go. But I didn't want to take care of another motor or carry extra fuel for light usage like this. An electric chainsaw should be enough. Plus, I can charge the battery in the vehicle. Cut the big chunk to clear my way. Now I just want to cut for fun. I can make a nice cutting board. So nice! Wow! Oh, look at that. <laughs> Ever since I started woodworking, it has been a little obsessed with nice looking wood. When we're actually making this box, we found a little issue with the dimension that the handle was too wide to fit in straight out this way. So we have to turn it around and fit it this way. And also the blade cut on this one is horizontal. So when you fit it in, it actually slides in pretty nicely. And there we go. Does anyone want some stools? I think I can make a little no, chair thing. All right, enough play, let's go. Hold on, something feels weird. Oh no, I did not just forget my swing out. To be honest, I wasn't a big fan of snow wheeling. Some unpleasant previous experiences kept ruminating in my head. Did I tell you I once got sandwiched in a 5 Jeep accident on a snow hill? Yeah, that was not a well organized meet, with way too many vehicles showing up. I guess one positive thing about COVID is that it forces people to, well, separate in a good way. You tend to have less, if at all, big trail runs with more than 10 vehicles. It gets a little difficult to manage. More time is spent with the selected few in your close circle, what we call the quality ones, or just by yourself altogether. Oh, these water bars. One day I'm going to rip my pitch off. Yeah. Yeah, As a decision, do I want to explore a little more or camp down here? The trees are closing in too. Um, but it looks really nice. Look at that. Wow. We've got a mountain in the back, snow. So, I icing up a little. <laughs> Before, when I put a swag on a roof, always use zip tie. Zip, zip tie. Uh, ratchet strap. <laughs> Only until later we find out actually they have. <clears throat> Excuse me, they have built in straps to secure them right on your roof. One last thing to carry. All full corner, just like that. Here we got a door going. Takes a little bit of time to do it by one person, but it's warm.
just wanted some sort of lighting system in the back. I thought about putting one behind the rack at the back of it, but then I realized my toga would be blocking it. So here's a little gadget. Milwaukee light bar. It has a clamp that can extend to the width of that tailgate. And it lights up pretty good. I do have one problem about this whole awning system is my swing out. Now that it's swinging out, blocking basically my access to the oh, slipped to the driver's side. I guess just a little bit of sacrifice, either go through under or all the way around. Have you had a tuna sandwich from Joey's if you're from Vancouver? This is basically what it is. A little bit more well done, but... Mm. Let me show you these new decals I got. They're printed on reflective material and will shine at night. They're locally made by a friend at Vansity Vinyl. If you want to grab one, head over to overlandlady.com. Say hi in the notes or request some handwriting from me. I pack them personally and would love to be a part of your adventure. Since many of you commented on my makeup, I figured why not share with you my trick as I'm washing off for the day. Normally, if I bring in a passenger, Julia will be doing her makeup in the passenger seat. With the sun visor down, using mirror on that, but my passenger seat is not always empty. And for myself, I've been using this ARB wash bag. I have a makeup remover packed out here. When you open it up, it's got a flip. I really hook it out here. And I got a towel out here after you wash your face. Mirror, and then in here I have everything from brushing your teeth, washing your face, and putting your face on, and brushes, and even your hair stuff. And this compartment, this section, it can come out separately if you, you know, take it into a shower or something, put in shampoo, so. Super handy. Oh, and right here I have some Q-tips. And then this mirror, obviously with time, the cover gets all scratched up. So you can take it out and put it somewhere else. Really handy for in the morning when I do makeup. And that's basically how I do it. Rain caught on soon after. Time to put out the fire and stay in. As I'm settling down for the night, don't forget a rutol. Check in with family about my safety and coordinate. Inside a run and rack awning room is significantly warmer than outside. Paired with a heater, I didn't even put on my heated vest whole night. Plugged heated blanket to my Goal Zero power station to warm up the swag. One last walk in the woods and I'll be ready for bed. Okay, I just saw these footprint. What do they look like to you? And now that pile of red looks way more suspicious now. Guess I'm sleeping with this mini supernova tonight, just in case. Get your slug. First night under the fully enclosed Rhino Rack awning. Cozy is an understatement. Feel like I've built a cabin in a mountain out of canvas. I'm outdoors, but I'm also indoors. If there's one thing consistent in life, that's our winter rain. I love falling asleep in a raindrop sound, so I guess packing up in a wet condition is something I'll have to accept as a bundle deal. We all need a break from the madness in the world sometimes. The invisible mask we put on during interactions and the physical mask we are required to wear all can be set aside for now. Heading to the mountain is one way to do it, by a four-wheel drive or by a ski lift. Secured my roof load, Let's hit the slope. Yo, I just removed the aluminum wrap and guess what I see? What? Hell, this has never happened before. You see the grill melted. How? How is this even possible? Wow, come on Coleman.